Hi everyone, this is FD Asilo and welcome to my channel. Before we start, I want to quickly say thank you to each and every one of you who have been supporting this channel from the very beginning. It means a lot to me, I really appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and I really hope uh, you'll keep on supporting this channel so together we can inspire as many people as possible and to all the new subscribers thank you so much for reaching out thank you from the bottom of my heart and so without further ado let's get on with it when someone wrongs you especially someone that you love someone that you care about you feel hard and betrayed right because he or she inflicted pain like no other and you're probably thinking to yourself you wronged me, and thus you don't deserve my forgiveness. I can no longer trust you. Here's the distinction that I want you to know. Forgiving someone doesn't mean that you instantly trust or ever trust someone again. Forgiveness and trust are two separate actions that you give to people. When you forgive someone, it doesn't mean that you accept his or her behavior or you trust him or her again. Even if you forgive someone, it doesn't mean that you have to keep that person in your life. It's okay to maintain this stance. That is your choice. However, if you choose to keep this person in your life, he or she needs to rebuild the trust again. And it takes time, maybe even longer. And here's what I want you to take away from this video. Forgiveness is not something that you do for the person that hurt you. It's something that you do for yourself. Think of it this way, when you forgive someone, you are giving a special gift to yourself, a gift of freedom, a gift of peace, and a gift of new beginnings. So how do you forgive someone? Even if you cannot forget what they have done to you, it is possible for you to trust again. You need to forgive yourself. Don't beat up yourself by saying, how can I be this naive? How can I be this stupid? I should have known. I should have stopped it. There is nothing that you can do now. It has happened. And the lies, the betrayal, or the heart, it has been done. So you just have to accept that, feel the pain, learn from it, and forgive yourself. Forgive that person. It doesn't matter if they are apologetic. It doesn't matter if they don't accept their mistakes. Remember, you are doing it for yourself. But how do you do this when you feel so much pain and anger and hurt? You don't need to call that person right away to say, So I forgive you. It's unnecessary. You don't have to do that. Instead of doing that, you can begin by shifting your energy and be willing to say, I don't know how but I'm willing to forgive you. If you can say out that loud, along with a prayer, asking for guidance in peace, it's the beginning of the forgiving process. Let me tell you that it is not easy, not easy at all, and it will take time. But don't beat yourself up by saying, oh, it's so hard, it's so difficult, I don't think I can do this. You have to remember that it is a continuous process that you have to keep striving. You cannot just say, Okay, I forgive you. Everything is fine. It doesn't work like that. But your willingness to forgive and saying out loud to the universe is the beginning of the forgiving process. Let me give you an example. So when you accidentally get cut with a sharp object, it takes time for the bleeding to stop, right? The wound is there and it won't disappear overnight. It can take weeks or even months for the wound to finally heal. You can't do anything about it. There is no magic cream that you can just split to the wound and make it disappear. Similarly, when someone hurt you, wronged you, or inflicted pain in you, the wound is there and it will take time to heal. So what do you do when you got cut? You want it to heal, right? And working with your exposed wound is something that you don't want. So you use a band-aid to conceal it. Now, I want you to think about the big old wound that the person who hurt you put on you. 
Do you want to carry that wherever you go? I believe you don't. Because not only it will constantly remind you of the pain from the past and the things that he or she had done to you, but also you can't hide it. People can see a wound that you are, and that doesn't do you any good. With that said, I want you to strive to heal that wound. You can take your time, yeah, it takes time to heal, but try your best, because you're not doing this for the person that wronged you. You are doing this for yourself. I want you to be in a state where you can actually think the person who hurt you and say to yourself, Hey person, thank you for what you have done. You made me stronger. And because of what you have done, I have learned a lot. And because of all the pain that you made me experience, there is nothing in this world that I cannot handle. And thank you for that. I am a totally different person now. And there's one last thing that I want you to know. Being able to forgive fully without any reservation is an inner strength. It's not a weakness. Don't forget that.